You need to change these settings now to boost FPS, lower input delay and fix stutters in all games including Valorant, Fortnite, CSGO, Minecraft or any other game that you might play. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will be showing you guys the best settings and tweaks that you need to change right now in order to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, lower input delay and even get lower ping in all of the games that you play. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button because a lot of you are watching these videos without even subscribing. And with that, let's dive straight into today's video. The first thing that you need to do is go down into the description of this video and download the optimization pack Reknotic from my website which will be linked in the description. Once you go onto my website, the post containing this pack will have the same thumbnail and the title as this video that you are watching. So go ahead and download the pack and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or whatever you want. Once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up and we're gonna be starting off with the registry file. So starting off with the CPU speed, just go ahead and right click on it, then click on merge, hit yes, hit ok, and as you can already guess, it's going to optimize the overall stampiness of your windows. Then for the fixed keyboard input delay, just go ahead and merge this as well, because this is going to help you with the overall keyboard input delay. You can even right click and click on edit to see the credits of the file as well as what it does. So just go ahead and close out of this, then do the same thing for the game priority optimizations, just hit merge, hit yes, hit ok, and it's going to optimize the MMSS registry keys. Once you're done with the reg files, just right click on the disable nagelling.pad and run it as administrator. It's going to go ahead and disable the nagel algorithm which has been proven to help with network issues and also gets you lower ping. So once you're done with that, open up the nvidia inspector and inside of here you will find the nvidia profile inspector as well as my own custom profile which contains all of the hidden and secret settings for nvidia as well that you cannot change through the nvidia control panel. So all you need to do is just go ahead and drag it onto the nvidia profile inspector hit ok and then close out of this. Then right click on your desktop, open up the nvidia control panel. Now this step is for only nvidia users so other users can skip ahead into the video. Once the control panel opens up, click on adjust image settings with preview and just make sure that use the advanced 3d image settings is checked and click on take me there. Now your settings should look similar to mine because you just used my profile. However, if any of them is not the same as mine, just go ahead and look at mine and then change them accordingly. Another little thing is that the low latency mode, you should go ahead and set it to on and if you find it's not working that great you can always go ahead and set it to ultra but on is the one that works best for me also open gl rendering gpu just go ahead and click on it and then select your graphics card other than that everything should be set perfectly and all you need to do is click on apply once the settings have been applied go into change resolution and just make sure that your refresh rate is set properly as well as your resolution adjust desktop color settings go ahead and bump up the digital vibrance by default it will be set to 50 percent but if you want your games and overall screen to to look much brighter and vibrant and make the colors pop then just go ahead and set it to around 80 percent then adjust desktop size and position go ahead and set the display scaling mode on to display and this to no scaling if you do have the option then for the adjust video color image settings just go ahead and use the nvidia settings click on advance and set this to full once you are done with all of these just go ahead and close out of this and we can move on to the next step open up your start menu and search for startup open up the startup apps and just go through this list and turn off anything that you don't want to start up with your PC. For example, if I don't want to start up my Brave browser with my PC, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. It's going to not only help with the overall boot time of your PC but as well as the performance because if these apps boot up with your Windows, they're gonna be eating up resources while the Windows is running. Also go into the apps for websites and just go ahead and turn off any of these. Then go into the apps and features and then just go through this whole list and uninstall anything that you don't use. It's not only going to help you with freeing up system space but also the overall performance of your windows. Once you're done with this, close out of this and open up your start menu once again. This time search for advanced system settings. Then go ahead and open up the view advanced system settings. Under the performance tab, go ahead and click on the settings and then just go ahead and copy mine. So basically, I have only selected show shadow under mouse pointer, show thumbnails instead of icons, show windows content while dragging, smooth edges of screen font and use drop shadow for icon labels on the desktop. This is personal 
preference and the lesser amount of things that you check here the higher the performance margin you will get but this is my personal preference and these are the things that i have checked so you can go ahead and copy mine if you want but just keep in mind that less is more so once you're done with this go ahead and click on ok hit ok once again and that's it i hope that this video helped you and if it did then make sure to hit that like button down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i upload a brand new video and with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome